The average car has about 30,000 parts, and sometimes a problem with just one of them can turn into a disaster. In the case of a Chevy Cobalt, it's a 90 cent ignition switch. Well, how does GM balance cost and safety? We don't. GM is struggling with one of the most serious safety problems in its history. If we know there is a, a defect on our vehicles, we do not look at the cost associated with it. We look at the speed in which we can fix the issue. A recall involving 2.6 million cars, all because a two-inch ignition switch, a tiny spring and plunger, didn't work right. GM has already linked 13 fatal crashes to the flaw. We still don't know how this is going to play out. But keep in mind, this is just the latest in a long line of recalls. Some major news, but most not. And keep in mind, too, that for sheer size, this one doesn't even crack the top 10. That record goes to Ford, which recalled nearly 15 million vehicles worldwide from 1996 to 2010 because of a fire-prone cruise control. But it's not just the number of cars recalled that matters. It's also how dangerous the problem is, and how quickly and transparently auto companies respond. Well, clearly the fact that it took over 10 years indicates that we have work to do to improve our process. That's why news that GM knew about the problem for more than a decade is so stunning, and why the most notorious recalls aren't necessarily the biggest ones. Take the Ford Pinto. The 1978 recall of the Pinto, due to a design flaw that meant the gas tank could explode when the compact was rear-ended, led to years of bad press and bad jokes. The Pinto was called the barbecue that seats four. Ford recalled some of its SUVs in 2000 because of problems with Firestone tires. Ford didn't make the tires, but after 100 deaths, the company had to do something. We have no doubt about, about why we're doing it. We're doing it in the interest of our customers' safety and peace of mind. And it wasn't long ago that Toyota suffered a major blow to its reputation because the gas pedals on some models could stick, causing sometimes fatal runaway acceleration. Today, we can say for certain that Toyota intentionally concealed information and misled the public about the safety issues behind these recalls. As bad as all these recalls sound, remember that for the most part, manufacturers are making much better cars than they used to. It's just that sometimes engineers make mistakes. And worse, sometimes executives are slow to admit them. <laughs>